Hey, hi friends. Welcome to a brand new series of Linux networking commands, my friend. So friends, in this series, I am going to cover 50 Linux networking commands. Whether you are a Linux administrator, production support engineer, you are application support engineer, you are a DevOps engineer, you are a developer, or if you are a tester as well, or you are from any role, 100% this Linux networking commands is going to help you and definitely believe me my friend because there have been lot of comments are coming where you have asking sir please do some kind of a video on linux network troubleshooting and linux commands my friend so for the linux network troubleshooting i have already started the video in linux 100 plus interview question and answer that is part 13 and in this series i am going to show you linux networking command almost 50 my friend so in this session i am going to show you 10 linux networking commands so let's start the session without wasting much time because Time is money for us, my friend. But if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification, my friends. So let's start the session. So the first command is my friend that is ifconfig. ifconfig command is used to display network interface information. Let's see if config so here you can see as soon as i run if config it's going to give me the interface information that is my ip information and the loopback address my friend so friends the next command so friends the next command is your ip address so ip address so command is used to show slash manipulating routing devices policy routing and tunnels my friend let me show you See, as, as soon as I run this IP address so command, you can see it's not only giving the loopback address, your interface address, but there are some additional information, my friend. Okay, so let's move on to the next command, my friend. So the next command is route-n command. This display or manipulate the IP routing table. Let's clear this one. And run route hyphen n so clearly you can see my friend as soon as you run the route hyphen n command you are able to see your gateway right and some other information my friend okay and if you wanted to know more about route command then you can use hyphen hyphen help command also and you can do a man and you can do a route also my friend okay so here you can come to know see it's clearly written so whatever the information i am providing to you that is absolutely legitimate or authentic okay so you will not get this information anywhere my friend okay so you can see the same thing i have put in the slides also my friend okay so let's move on to the next command so friends the next command is absolutely a ping command and ping command is used to send icmp echo request to the network host so here i am going to show you one real time example and this website is my own website which i have created and i have hosted it on a hostinger my friend and it's absolutely fully functional website so this is a real time live project for you my friend okay so you can see ping earth original.com you can see this particular website is pinging and if i can take you through so you can see this website my friend this is my own website and even if somebody i have still work is going on on this website soon this go, this website is going to be in production and anyways now also if you can go and if you order something i have integrated the payment gateway and everything you can buy also my friend okay so this is my own website my friend even if you want to know who is the okay so it's clearly working so friends the next command is your trace path command you have seen like i have asked one question that what is the difference between trace path and trace route okay so you know 
see this is what i have given here it traces the network path to the destination discovering mtu along this path it uses udp port okay user datagram protocol or some random port my friend it is similar to trace route however it does not require any super user privilege and has no fancy option this is the basic difference between trace route and trace path command and even if you go if you if you run this like this just run a trace okay so if you do a double so if you do a double tap so you come to know there is command coming trace path there is no trace route is coming in rhel9 so what i suggest trace path you just use my friend okay and just give your website address so you can see where your packet is dropping everything you can see straightforward without having any options my friend in trace route we need to put some option and we need super user privilege but this command i am executing as a normal user without having any fancy option over here so you can see this one my friend so friends let's move on to the next command the next command is net stat command so i would suggest my friends this next uh, net stat command is already deprecated okay so better you should go with ss command okay so you can see i have written that ss is used to dump socket statistic same way here also if you want to know the port number or anything your socket information then in that case we use net stat command my friend and it allows showing information similar to net stat that is what it can display play more tcp and state information than other tool my friend so here i am using both you can use ss hyphen an i am going to show you both command what is the difference and a stands for display all sockets u stands for your display only udp socket my friend so here you can see first i am going to show you net stat right hyphen an so you can see you are going to get this information my friend okay and if you run the command call ss hyphen an it's going to give you a detailed information of your socket all socket and that is what a stands for your display all sockets u stands for display only udp sockets my friend and if you do man ss okay just see here it's clearly written ss is used to this one it allows to the similar uh, to net stack it can only display more tcp and state information than other tool and you can use ss command my friend because why net stack is already deprecated okay so it's better to use ss command my friend so friends uh, let's move on to the next command that is ss command only to display your socket statistics uh, with hyphen t u l p n what does it mean t stands for display only tcp sockets u stands for display only udp sockets l stands for display listening sockets p stands for so process using socket and stands for don't resolve service names let's run this command and we'll see how it's giving the output so ss hyphen t u l p n so you can see we are getting the information in this form my friend where what you are receiving what you are sending what is the local address port what is the peer address port and the process and the state and your net id my friend okay so friends let's move on to the next command you i think most of you know about this command that is host name it's going to show or set the system's host name my friend so let me clear this one if i write host name so i am going to get a local host local domain why i am uh, not getting any name over here and host command can be used with host ctl also to set the host name so this is why i told you if you want to display the host name you can use host name and even if you have to set a set set a host name that also you can do it with the host name ctl command my friend okay but one more thing uh, that is what i wanted to show you why we are not uh, getting any host name the reason behind that one once you do cat slash etc hosts file there will be a host files so here you can see there is a no entry for the host and if you see cat slash etc result dot com there is no 
name server is set over here okay this is the gateway only i have not created any dns server so for that i need to create a dns server that say name dns server i have to make an entry over here and then i need to set my local host local domain my friend okay means my host name i need to set it over here right so this is why if you run the host name command i am not getting any output over here right so let's move on to the next command my friend the next command is dig command and it is used to dns lookup utility so if you do a dig same it's my own website earthoriginal.com if i do this one so you can see a detailed information of your it's a dns utility okay and it's going to give me a detailed information of my dns okay my friend so let's move on to the next command my friend the next command is ns lookup command so now you will understand what is the difference between dig command and ns lookup command my friend so ns lookup command is used to query internet name server interactively okay so same thing i am going to run ns lookup and then so now you understand the difference my friend it's resolving the dns clearly over here and in case of dig we are getting a detailed information this is the basic difference between dig command and ns lookup command right i am ending up the session here only thank you for watching this video for more videos like this please just stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification Please do take care of your loved ones. Till then, Jai Hind and bye bye my friend.